Hey guys, it's Sam and welcome to my channel. Today's video is just this quick little eye look. Well, not really quick, but um, I'm just doing the eye look nothing with my face or anything. Um, this is very out of my comfort zone, like I kind of say throughout the video, but I just wanted to try something a little bit different and play with some of my eyeshadow palettes that I have. So if you guys want to see how I did this, then just keep on watching. Alright, so I already have my foundation. Alright, sorry. What the heck? Alright, so I already have my foundation. Why can't I talk? <laughs> Alright, so I already have my foundation, concealer, powder, bronzer, just my whole face done pretty much. Um, today's look, I think I'm gonna go in with the Dark Magic palette from Jacqueline. I know I that's all I use is the Jacqueline palettes, but they're so good. <clears throat> and I haven't really touched this one at all. Like at all. I haven't even really swatched it that much. Alright, I think I want to do something kind of colorful, obviously, because this palette has, like, all, like, blues and greens and stuff, but I want to do something different and bold and dramatic, because I don't do that very often. I think I'm going to start off with going in with Busted, which is, like, this really just pure blue color. I mean, it's kind of more cool-tuned, I think, but... So I'm just going to go in with that. Um... This is so intense. I never really go in with like this bright of a, a color like to start off with. So far so good. It's a really pretty color. Okay, now I'm just going to go in with um Potion, which is like this green color. I'm just going to kind of blend the blue out with that. So this one I'm having a little bit of trouble blending out. I might just go in with a different brush and see if that helps. Um, I am using a new um, eyeshadow primer as well, so this could be maybe why, but I'm trying the Benefit Stay Don't Stray <clears throat> primer, so that could be why stuff isn't blending out quite like I want it, but I don't know, it might be okay, just might need a little bit more work, it's starting to look a little better. Okay, now I'm going to go in with the, um, the darker shade right by this blue one. It's called Inside Job. Um, it's just kind of like a darker bluish gray. So I'm going to deepen up the outside corner with that. This is such a pretty color. These are all such pretty colors, it's just like very odd. Not odd, but this is very different compared to what I'm usually using. I probably will be going kind of back and forth with this green and the blue just to keep the pigmentation. Because sometimes after I blend a little bit it kind of goes away, so. Wow, this is really intense. <laughs> so for the under eye, I'm just going to kind of mimic what I did, so I'm going to take that blue. Just put it right under here and just kind of connect it. What the heck? Anyways, and just kind of connect it with what I did on top. I don't know why I can't decide what brushes I want to use. So I might deepen this up just a little bit more, um, and I'm going to go in with the black, which is Temptress. I'm just using a very little bit. I just kind of want to deepen this up just a little bit. Whoa. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, so now I am going to cut my crease with a little bit of concealer, and I just bought this today. Actually, it's the Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer in C2. So I'm just going to take a little bit and then look up, and then I'll kind of go by this. Alright, so once I have that on, I'm going to go in with the Power Cut shade, which is like that really pretty silver. And I'm going to lay that just right on top of the concealer. And this just kind of makes it so it's a little bit more intense. Um, I'm going to put something over top of this color anyway, so this one doesn't really matter too much. So now I'm going to go in with one of my new goodies. I just bought this today. Also, it's the Stila Magnific Magnificent Metal in Diamond Dust. Okay, so I'm just going to lay this just right on top. This is so pretty. Look how sparkly that is. So I'm going to kind of let that dry before I go in and try to like blend a little bit above there. So... Because I feel like if I try to do it while it's wet, it's just going to get messy. So I'm just going to go in with a little bit of potion now. And go in just like right above it. Not really blend it, but just kind of create it. Um, put a little bit more color above it, I guess. And then I'm going to take Trickery. Which is this one. And it's just kind of like a sparkly green. And I'm going to use this kind of as my transition right here. I'm just going to kind of pat it right on top here. Just so there's some kind of like gradient going between the two. Alright, now I'm going to take more of the Magnificent Metal and put it right underneath here. I have a feeling this will look a lot better once I have lashes and everything on. I think just right now it just seems like a lot. <laughs> I'm going to go in with that black and just going to put it kind of like right up against my lash line here. Not a whole lot, just to kind of smoke it out a little bit. Okay, just to kind of clean up everything, I'm going to take just a sponge with a little bit of powder. And I'm just going to kind of almost like bake underneath here and then I'll wipe it away later. But it just kind of like... Cleans it up without having to, like, use a makeup wipe or whatever, so. Alright, so I think that is it for this eye, and I'm going to do the other eye off camera. So now that the eyes are both done, I'm going to go on with this Sugar Coal in 03 Green Light. I got this in, like, an Ipsy thing, or I don't know. But, um, it's just this really pretty green eyeliner. So I'm going to go in with that right in my waterline here. I think this will kind of really, like, tie in the whole look. Okay, so now I'm going to use these Ardell Faux Mink lashes. They're just kind of nice and short in the inner corner and then get longer as they go out. Um, I don't think I've ever used these ones. Usually I just use the Ardell Wisp, Demi Wispy ones, but just because this is a long and boring process, I'm going to do this off camera as well. Alright, so I got the lashes on. Um, I do notice that I did have quite a bit of fallout on this side of my cheek. I don't know why this side, but um, I tried kind of wiping it away and now my makeup's all ruined, but whatever. <laughs> um, so now for my inner corner highlight, I'm just going to go in with the Armed and Gorgeous palette with the VIP shade, which is this like really starky white. Um, so I'm just going to take that and go right in the inner corner here. Just kind of brighten that up a little bit. And then I'm going to take a little bit and go right on my inner, or my brow bone. I do not 
really like these lashes. They were kind of a little bit harder to work with. Um, I don't know. It's like really poking my inner eye and I even trim them quite a bit. So these ones aren't super comfortable. Just FYI. <laughs> not a huge fan. It says that they're lightweight, which I do not think so. But maybe I just haven't worn lashes in a while. <laughs> but lastly, I'm going to go in with the Kylie Jenner um, Candy K Lip Liner. And line my lips. This is really pink. I always thought this was more like nudie. Oops. And then I'm going to go in with the liquid lipstick. And this is matte. I've heard her velvets are really nice. See, this is a little bit more nudie. Mm, I'm not really liking this combination with the two of them. I think I'm going to take this off. I'm not really good at like matching my lipstick to like the eye look I do. I don't know. Okay, let's try something different. Okay, I'm just gonna go in with my usual um, Milani lip liner in all natural. This is like my go-to always. I'm gonna go in with this Lunar Beauty lip gloss in Celine. This is like, has a lot of gold shimmer, which I don't know if it'll really go with my look either, but we're gonna do it anyways. <laughs> Actually. I don't really know. I never know what to do for lips. I don't like that either. What do I do, guys? What goes with blue? That's like the hardest thing. Do I do something like super nude? Or... I'm gonna take it off again. Why am I struggling so hard with this? Okay, so I think last video I used this as well. It's just like the Marvelous Moxie um, in Charmer. It's just like this really pale lip gloss. See, this might work. I don't know. Nothing looks good. I think the lip liner is just like stained my lips now and everything looks pink to me. I think we're just going to stick with this because my lips can't handle me wiping off another lipstick. <laughs> Alright, so this is it for my eye look. Um, I hope you guys like it. It's very out of my comfort zone, which is what I wanted to do though. Um, I'm actually pretty happy with how it turned out. Um, the eyeshadows were pretty good. I'm just curious if it was more maybe my base that I used that kind of... I don't know, it kind of looks a little bit patchy out here, and I did blend a lot, but I don't know, it's just, maybe just the shadows, or maybe what I use underneath it, but I definitely don't think I like myself in blue eyeshadow, it's very different from what I'm used to, and I just feel like my eyes are so dark, but I know that's like the point of it. <laughs> and I do have a new background, as you can see, um, it was super easy, I just made it, I bought some marble vinyl um, sticky stuff from Walmart, and I just put it on a whole bunch of like tag board or like, what do you call it? Just like poster, not poster board, but yeah, I think it's called tag board. And I mean, it's a little kind of like weird, but I think it turned out kind of cool. I don't know. It, it works for now. <laughs> um, but if you guys like this, then let me know. On, or if you liked my old background or if you want to just see like my old plain room, just let me know. <laughs> so yeah, if you guys have any video ideas or any um, critiquing on like, how my setup is or whatever just comment down below and I like constructive criticism so don't be afraid to let me know what I suck at <laughs> um thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one bye excuse me all right I think that's it bye